Hiya, hiya everybody, how are y'all doing? I'm Lulu with Lulu's Thrifting World. Thank you so much for visiting me and watch me in this episode as I unbox a Thread Up DIY designer rescue box. And this is my first time ever buying this box and unboxing it and checking it out and seeing how, you know, what I got. So yeah, let's get right into it. I went ahead and um, cut the seal. I did not go in this box at all. I just cut the seal, excuse me, to get my receipt because I had ordered several boxes in one day when I got this box. So I wanted to make sure which was what. But this is the uh, Rescue Box DIY Designer seven items for $140 plus $9.99 shipping and tax, which came out to almost $165 because I believe it was $164 and change or $165 and change, but it was around $165. So, oh, oh, wow. Yes. So we'll see what I receive in this box and what I will resell. I'm pretty much, I'll probably resell everything, but we'll see. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, let me put this down. Let me open this box. La, la, la. Tear this up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. So, oh, well, let me show you how it looks in here. <laughs> this is the inside of the box. Kenzo, extra, extra large. It's called Kenzo Paris. And I'm not very familiar with all designer luxury brands, you know, like I know like the top ones or whatever, like the name rights of the top ones, but like Kenzo, Kenzo Paris, I've never heard of it. Um, it's a white shirt, crew neck. What is that, like a... Um, a heart what is that black panther anywho um a little bit of staining on the neck collar area and i don't think is that a stain no that's lint armpits are fine i don't see any other stains really great condition um t-shirt i'm not sure it's probably just cotton or something kenzo and made in portugal that's where my um, husband's family is from 100 percent cotton but it's like good cotton okay all right i'm gonna be excited to look this one up and see what it sells for and this next one, I think it's a dress. Oh no, it's not a dress, it's a blouse. Victor Rolf, made in Italy. So it has like a keyhole back area right here with the button and the thread hook or whatever and Uh, there's some stain on the bottom hem. I don't know if you can see that. And the armpits look good. I just kind of wanted to see the um, material. Uh, here it is. Victor and Rolf. It says for, size 42. Made in Italy and so bad with these glasses no way i can read what material that is without it no eight 97 percent something um i'll try to put it on the screen to show what material it is but it seems to be in really good condition except for the stain that's on the bottom hem on the back of the blouse 
Okay. This dusty, blushy pink. Uh, Adam Lippis. Am I saying this right? Oh my God. Look at this dress. Like the, there's like a V-neck and then it has like this material. I don't know what you call it, but it's cute. And then, and then it's like, oh, look at, there was like a tag here. The plastic tag still here or whatever that is. I'm gonna take that down here. And I don't know. I guess it's made, it has to be made that way, but the back part, is that threading like it's like it wants to come apart or something i'm going to guess it's not supposed to do that and here's the label that i found inside i believe it says adam the pulse let me look inside the dress to find, and it's um, lined. The dress is lined, dry clean only. It's The lining is 100% silk combo, 100% silk, self 100% WV. And it's a size six, a Texas size six made in the USA. Oh, mira que bonito. My guess is this is the flaw on here, this thread part. I don't see any stains. This is just lint. Wrong, I do see a stain. I don't know if you can see it. It's right here. So I'm gonna look this up to see how much this sells for. Maybe I'll have it dry cleaned so it can be done properly. So I see a purse and three three pairs of shoes. So this purse is Bal Bally Bally B A L L Y a handbag purse looks vintage like oldish looking. Oh my! Look at look at the closure. How cute it's like two straps one two and then you do like that and boom okay so let's see how the inside looks it's fairly clean inside Bottom looks okay just for this area. Like some spots right here. And right here. And then the back, there's damage right here. And then of course, like the flat part right here has like scratches. Can you see that? And Yeah, I guess it's just a handbag, like cute little vintage looking handbag. And inside zipper pocket. Interesting, I'm gonna be excited to look this one up too. Curious, I don't think I've heard of that brand, Bali. I haven't heard of any of these brands, call me silly. But yeah, I'm learning over here, so I like that. So three items left, which is three shoes, and I have a pair of Manolo Blahnik. I have heard of this brand, I've seen it. The back is um, used up up here.
They don't look too terrible. Uh, let's see what size these are. 39 and a half. Not sure what that is in USA size, but yeah. I'm trying to look at the heel. I don't know what that is, but like right here. I mean, it's not terrible. So just the back part here and then the inside, how it's, um, you can tell they used it, <laughs> but they're not like in terrible condition or anything. So I got that, put that down. And another pair of heels with the chunky front. I love this color, oh my gosh. This matches um, that dress, that pink blushy dress. I don't know why I like this color. I'm just happy about it. <laughs> I don't even know what brand this is in Rochelle. Oh my, it's um, <laughs> YSL. <laughs> and what size are these shoes? So they're YSL. Can you see it? Oh, there we go. The bottoms don't look too terrible. It says it's here at size 39. Saint Laurent, Paris, made in Italy. I don't know if you can see the back here. Just scuffed up right here. Beautiful. I just love this color and this is amazing, awesome. Um, this brand here, ah, oh my God. <laughs> and then last but not least, um, some booties. Right? Some black booties. And these are Todd's. I don't think I've heard of Todd's, size nine. You just slip your foot in. Here's the bottoms. Very, very cool. So yeah, nice, nice, nice. They look to be in good condition. Oh, there's some um, scuffs here on the tips of the boots. The inside looks really nice. Like it must have only been used a few times, but it could use a wipe down. But yes, I am so excited about this box. My goodness. Um, Thank you for joining me today with watching me unbox this beautiful um, DIY designer box. Um, it, it said I was supposed to rece receive seven items. Sorry, I'm like all excited over here. So I'm gonna count what I received. So I got one with the booty boots, two with these cute pink blushy sandals by YSL, three with this Manolo Blahnik um, sandals, heels, so that's three, four with this cute vintage handbag by Bali, five with this cute, beautiful, blushy pink dress, six with this blouse, silk, silk blouse. And seven with this white, nice cotton t-shirt. Too bad it's too big for my husband. And that is all for today. Um, thank you so much for joining me and watching me unbox this. If you like this video, please, please give it a like. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. I will so, so greatly appreciate it. And thank you again for joining me here today. And I will see you at my next video. And have a wonderful, great weekend, you guys. Bye.